What's going on guys, it's your boy J-Ho bringing you a brand new video and today is Friday which means Zer is back for the weekend so let's take a look at Zer's inventory for week number 42 and we're back at the tower once again he's by the vanguard guys so down here downstairs in the middle area so let's take a look at his inventory so here we go here's his inventory for week 42 we got one new exotic armor piece so that's pretty cool and let's get into it. So for the Titan, we have the Peregrine Greaves. It is the new House of Wolves exotic leg armor for the Titan. It has full intellect on it, which is a really good stat. And it has camera ammo for heavy weapons. And shoulder charge deals bonus damage when activated in the air. So I don't know how good that is. Um, a lot of people use Striker Titan in Crucible for the Titan class. But shoulder charge is already a one-hit kill. Maybe if you're going up against someone in their super, like a blade dancer that's in the air, uh, you might deal more damage, so maybe you can hit them in a one-hit kill. Because I believe when you shoulder charge someone in their super, it is not a one-hit kill in a many supers. So um, maybe you can one-hit kill them, I'm not sure. You probably need to try this out. So I'll probably go ahead and pick one of these up for my Titan. And then for the Hunter, we have the Crest of Alpha Loopy, Revive Teammates Faster, Spawn More Orbs, and Carry More Ammo for Special Weapons and Hand Cannon. Really good perks on this one. Really good for Trials of Osiris especially to get those quick revives. Uh, the only downfall of this chest piece is that it is full strength, which is not the best stat to have on an armor piece. But the perks on it are really good and are worth using, especially in something like Trials of Osiris, even in... Uh, Prison of Elders, if you need to revive your teammates quicker and stuff like that. Any three-man game modes, uh, these these pieces of armor can be helpful in. For the Warlock, we have the Heart of the Praxic Fire, one of the best exotic chess pieces for the Warlock. It has full discipline, and its perks are further decreases all ability cooldowns while Radiance is active, and carry more ammo for fusion rifles and heavy weapons. Really good chess piece. I recommend it 100% if you do not have this. I also recommend this 100% if you do not have this as well and you have a hunter. But this one is really good. It's worth a try. It really decreases the cooldowns of all your grenades, all your melees, and stuff like that. And allows you to use more of them while you're in your super or in radiant. So it's really good. If you want to try out something, it's a really good chess piece. And then for the gun, we have the Red Death Exotic Pulse Rifle, one of the best pulse rifles in the game, especially for Crucible. Each kill heals you and speeds up reloads, and it's easier to aim while under fire using this weapon. Uh, if you need a good pulse rifle for Crucible, I recommend this 100%. Also really good in other PvE activities where you need to heal yourself, such as Crota Zen Hard Mode, where uh, you don't have a chalice if you still play raids. Uh, but it has a lot of uses, the healing is really good as well, and it's a really good pulse rifle in general. And then we have the exotic engram, which is a helmet once again, so everyone can try get all those exotic helmets that you've been, wa you've been wanting from the House of Wolves, like the Ram for the Warlock, Celestial Nighthawk, or the other one for the Titan, which is not as good, but uh, those two in particular are ones that I would want. I already got the ram from last time, but I still have yet to get Celestial Nighthawk, so I will actually buy a couple of these and we'll open it up. I guess I don't have enough space, so we'll just buy one then. Uh, so yeah. Let us take a look at what we're gonna get. I, I guess I have too many helmets in my helmet slot. That's why I only had room for one. So let's take a look at what we're going to get. Hopefully we get something good. I'll open up these random blue ones that I got. And for the exotic, we get a insurmountable skull for That's unfortunate. Uh, I might buy some more later and then open it up in another video. But that's about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos. And I will catch you guys next time. Peace.